I'm Stacey Kenyanji and welcome to my channel. One thing I love is going to different restaurants and trying out food. In this particular video, I went to the Ain Korean restaurant. So the Ain Korean restaurant is located in Harlingam, right behind KFC drive-thru. The restaurant is located in this huge compound full of lots of greenery. It's a short walk from the gate to the restaurant itself. Tables are enclosed in these wooden cubicles that can sit up to six people. I like the setup because it gives you lots of privacy, but aside from these sitting areas, there are also open sitting areas without the wooden cubicles. I don't wanna do this all over again. I can't take it, I can't take it. You say you won't, but you know that you're dragging me in. We won't Whatever food you order comes with these side dishes that are a variety of Korean cuisine. Some of them had a familiar taste because the ingredients used are also ingredients used in Kenyan food. But there are also some side dishes that were completely new so it was quite an interesting experience. Some of the side dishes here are bean sprouts. I think there was also dried radish leaves, something like that, but I'm not sure. Then there was lotus roots, kimchi, potato salad, um, these green things that reminded me of watermelons except for the color. So we're just gonna call them like the green watermelon vibes dish. <laughs> then there was radish kimchi, there was also white radish, and then kosari, egg roll, and the last one is groundnuts. Just let it show. Come on, don't, don't let me down. I also got some soju. I watch a bit of Korean dramas, and this drink is usually in most of those dramas, so I was excited to try it. So much more to do. My friend got the rice roll and I got takboki. By the way, there is a chance I've been butchering the pronunciation of some of these dishes, but this was all new, so bear with me. So the takboki dish comes in a huge bowl, then you serve the amount you want onto your bowl. This looks like pasta and it's almost similar to pasta, except it has a very chewy texture and the sauce itself is a combination of something sweet and something spicy. It's one of those foods that when you try it at first, it's like really good, but after a few bowls, you get tired of the taste. 
but it's definitely worth trying. It has a nice, unique taste. Every time I've been here, I've ordered it. Come on. some of the dishes on camera. The first one is a bean sprout. I don't know how else to explain it other than it tastes like raw beans in a good way. So it's a nice snack to have. It tastes just like eggs, um, well cooked eggs, so I loved it. Potato salad. This also tasted like potatoes, similar to mashed potatoes. Except for the green color, this green side dish reminded me of watermelon, but it tastes nothing like watermelon. The texture of it is kind of like an aloe vera plant. The taste was quite new to me. I can't say that I became a fan of this particular dish, but it wasn't bad. But somehow I just want this to last. Tried the soju again. To liquor found in Kenya, this is very watered down, so it's easy to drink it. My reactions may say otherwise, but I was being a bit dramatic. When you just manipulate and mess with my head, I know I've been here before, back and forth, let's have the war again and again. I don't wanna do this all over again, I can't take it. I can't take it You say you won't But you know that you're dragging me in We won't make it Baby, we won't make it My heart is holding on To the power This was Loki giving cooked grasshopper legs vibes But I learned it's a plant It also very much tastes like a plant Again, this was a very new taste that I didn't like and I miss the stories about your dreams but most of all Affordable, the stuff is very friendly and the environment is chilled. If you like trying out new stuff, this is a nice restaurant to start with. Thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe!